Right then, uh, what's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and today I'm going to be showing you an updated method how to get the Game Boy Advance emulator running on iOS 9.2, 9.1, or even 9.2.1 on any device. So this is probably the most popular emulator on any iOS device, Game Boy Advance. I mean, who doesn't know what that is? So I'm going to show you guys how to relive your childhood memories once again using this updated method. Now I did show you guys this a couple months back, but since then it's been revoked, now it's uh, been accepted again again so you guys can go ahead and do this but beyond just showing you how to run the Game Boy Advance emulator I'm going to show you guys how to save your progress and then reinstate it later so in case it gets revoked once again I don't want you guys to lose your entire save data I'm going to show you guys how to back that up very easily using Dropbox so uh, before we download Game Boy Advance for iOS Anyways, so I want you guys to go ahead and uh, navigate to iEmulators.com, just iEmulators.com, and just like that. Now, the first thing you'll see on the front page should be Game Boy Advance for iOS right here. You can find it in the submenu up there, but very simply, go ahead and select install. You don't have to do a date trick or anything like that. It's a very simple install from here, and go ahead and select install once again. Now, the process did change just a little bit in the latest uh, 9.2 release, so uh, in order to open the application after installing it, you'd usually have to trust it. Now you have to do it in settings. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into general, scroll all the way down to device management. So profiles has been renamed to device management. And here is where you go ahead and click on this, trust and trust. Now don't worry, this won't give you a virus or anything like that. This is coming from iEmulators. It's a trusted source. Downloading emulators from non-trusted sources, you know, could provide some issues in the future, but you guys have nothing to worry about here. Now we've downloaded Game Boy Advance for iOS 2.1. This is the latest version, and I just want to add that it will let you wirelessly sync. So if you have two devices and you want to trade Pokemon Monsters or play multiplayer on any game, you can do so using this latest version, which is the coolest thing. So uh, that really, really brings back those old memories where you'd have to buy the cable attach the game boys and transfer everything like that and if you didn't have a friend that had the game well tough luck <laughs> anyways so the cool thing about this emulator is you can easily search for uh, games in here easiest way to do it is uh just by going to type in game boy advance roms now this works with any website muparadise.me in particular works good there's just a ton of ads uh, but anyways so locate your uh, prey I'm gonna go ahead and download um, Super Mario Advance 4, it's a classic. I've actually never beaten this, which is the weirdest thing. A Link to the Past, I've never beat it. I, those are some of my favorite games, but I've never beat them fully. Golden Sun, one of my favorite games I've actually beaten on Game Boy Advance, and uh, Pokemon Fire Red, I believe. So uh, Ruby and Sapphire as well. Anyways, getting off topic here. So click on this link, it'll ask you uh, once again to scroll down, look at the ads, and click on it again. So go ahead and select download. Now the cool thing about this website uh, is you can send automatically to Dropbox if you have that set up. You can rename this in here. I'm gonna delete all this stuff and save it. So the progress bar is up there. Boom, you have Super Mario Advance 4. So uh, let's go ahead and load this. And you don't have to worry about uh, performance issues or anything like that. This runs so well on any device really, so. Audio wise, frames per second, everything runs perfect. No matter how old your device is, this this will run well. Cool. All right, so let's uh, give it a quick demo here. Man, this is so awesome. I mean, you can download any game you want at your fingertips. I remember being a kid, having to get these in GameStop, trade in old games to get new ones. Really brings back all the memories, I love it. So. Uh, Definitely would recommend anyone wanting to relive a little bit of their childhood. And I always say that, but I do mean it. I mean, so many memories here. All right, guys, so that's just about it. Uh, there's a couple other things I will discuss, but I'm going to show you guys how to save the actual save files. So you guys can save in game and all that's recommended by the app, but to actually save on top, you can save the entire file from in here. So 
save state. I understand this is where it warns you to save in game first. And uh, there you go. So you just saved it. Now, how do I attach this to Dropbox? Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Once you guys do have Dropbox downloaded in the Game Boy Advance emulator, so I'm going to save this right here, save state, overwrite that, and I'm going to go back to menu. So now I uh, go into settings, and this is when you already have Dropbox downloaded and enabled. So we're going to go into here, and you won't see this option unless you have Dropbox downloaded. So Go down to Dropbox Sync. It'll be off by default. Go ahead and enable it. It'll ask you to trust it. Go ahead and do that. And the games you have downloaded will appear right here. You can choose to sync save data in here. So when you save it in the application, it'll automatically save in Dropbox. Now, if uh, it does get revoked, you have no worries. You have your entire save file saved in here and you can actually sync it every single time with Game Boy Advance for iOS. So good stuff, guys. Just wanted to fill you in on the latest information about Game Boy Advance for iOS and how to save it. I just know a lot of people were getting frustrated with that. Hopefully uh, I could figure that out for you. Go ahead and play some awesome Game Boy games, guys. And my favorite feature of this emulator is probably gonna have to be the fast forward for all the dialogue that you just have to sit through. It can be really annoying. And this really uh, speeds that up. So good stuff, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your Game Boy Advance emulator and games. Peace.